friends from the rainforest by Adeline Fu, illustrations by Miel. Kemi, Ben's secret friend. Ben lived in an old terrace house across from the reservoir. His favorite room in the house was his bedroom. It overlooked the backyard of the house where he could spot miners and butterflies. Ben would join mommy in the backyard whenever she washed clothes. Ben, shout if you see a lizard. I don't want any to draw on me, mommy said. Alright. Ben wasn't sure he'd be able to spot any. Every time mommy saw one, she screamed so loudly that the lizard would glide quickly away, frightened by her loud squeal. But that morning, Ben spotted one before mommy did. A brown stick-like creature with a long pointed tail and skinny legs. It was hiding under the washing machine. Ben wasn't sure if what he saw was a lizard. Mommy, can lizards crawl on the floor? Ben asked. I see them on walls and ceilings mostly, Mommy replied. But can they crawl on the floor? Ben asked again his eyes on the creature under the washing machine. Bigger lizards like, like chameleons may crawl on the ground, Mommy replied slowly, curious about Ben's questions. Ah, because they are too heavy to climb the walls, so their babies will crawl on the ground too, Ben exclaimed. He decided that the creature was a baby chameleon. Maybe, I have never seen a baby chameleon before, Mommy said. Hmm, Cammy, Ben mumbled to himself. What's that? Mummy asked. Nothing, just a name for my chameleon, Ben grinned. At that moment, the phone rang. Mummy went into the house to answer it. Cammy crept out from under the washing machine at the same time. For something so tiny, it could, it could run very fast. It scuttled across to the backyard and dropped into the drain, disappearing just before Mummy could see it. From that day onwards, Ben had a little secret friend. He woke up early each morning to look for Kemi. It would be basking in the morning sun, soaking up the heat. Sometimes it would be at the foot of the washing machine. Sometimes it would be hiding under the broom, but each day it got harder and harder to spot Kenny. Its skin took, an or took on an orange tint, just like the floor tiles in the backyard. You could hardly see it. Mommy would see Ben looking into the backyard and asked what he was looking at. Kenny, he would reply. Your chameleon again? Mommy would ask. She thought it was a game Ben was playing and she would pretend to shudder and squeal, Ah! Ben would laugh and Mummy would walk away. If only she knew that Cammy was real. One day, Daddy went out into the backyard and shouted, Come quick! Come and see this! Ben rushed over and saw Daddy pointing to Cammy. That's Cammy! Ben said proudly. You have a name for it? Daddy asked. That's my baby chameleon. I named it Cammy, Ben replied. Daddy wasn't so sure. That night, Daddy looked up his encyclopedia. He found a picture of a reptile that looked like Cammy and showed it to Ben. Changeable lizard, Ben read. So it's not a baby chameleon, he added. That's right. Chameleons are not found in Singapore, Daddy said. Ben learnt that the changeable lizards are commonly seen in our parks and gardens and are often mistaken for chameleons. Mommy overheard Daddy and Ben talking and she asked, Why are you talking about lizards? Daddy looked at Ben and shrugged, Oh, nothing really, just looking at some pictures. Ben grinned just as Daddy winked at him. Cammy was their little secret. Yeah.